Hello guys, Random Boy here, and today I will be creating a tutorial video on how to install Python on your computer for Windows. This is a Windows only tutorial, so I will be making a Linux version in the future, but not now. This will be the first of my series where I'll be going over Python tutorials, how to get all the basics of Python down, as well as a few advanced features. I'm creating these videos for my own future reference, so that I can come back to these videos in the future in case I need to brush up on some basics, though you guys can use these videos to help yourselves as well. Anyways, to get started, on by, by default Windows does not have Python installed, so you will have to install it. The best way to install it is just go to uh, python.org slash downloads and make sure you install the latest version. I already have that downloaded, so I will go to my downloads folder. And once here, you just want to right click run on admin. And once you click on run on admin, you will be taking this screen where it says install Python. First things first, you want to make sure you click, you check mark add Python 3.x to path. This is very important in order to make sure your scripts work. In case you don't and you click next, there is a way to do this manually. If you guys want me to show you that way, I can go over it and just make sure you leave a just make sure you let me know in the comments below. Anyways, over here you can choose to install Python in a custom location or you can install in the default location. Uh, for this tutorial, I will click install now in the default location. And we'll run through the process of installing Python on your machine. It's a very simple and uh, hassle free way of doing it on Windows. For Linux, it is a little more complex because it's a lot more manual, but it's still simple overall, so it shouldn't be that bad. Anyway, it'll say setup is successful. If it works, then you can close this out. In case it doesn't work, just try again. And check that you have Python installed, the version you have installed. You can go to apps and features, and then just check in the Python, in the P section, which version of Python you have installed. This method works for Python 2.7, as well as any of the 3.x versions as well as any future version as well. Another way of checking is by going on terminal, just type in python dash dash version and it will give you the lowest, the most, it will give you the most stable version. So in this case it's, show, it's showing py, python 3.7.4 which is one of the two python versions I have. But if you are installing Python first time, then I'll show you the version that you're supposed to have. Anyway, now that you have Python installed, you probably nah. now that you have Python installed, you want to install your IDE. All right, now that you have Python installed, the next thing you want to do is install an IDE for the sake of this tutorial. In general, you don't want you don't need to install an IDE, but you can. Basically, any text editor will work if you have Python installed and you want to run Python on your machine. However, for the sake of this tutorial, let's just go with an IDE. And you can use any IDE that you want, Atom, Sublime, a Vim. But to make things to make to make things simple, I will be going with Microsoft Visual Studio Code. And basically to install this, just go to code.visualstudio.com and click download for Windows. I already have it downloaded. So back in my downloads folder, just click on Visual Studio Setup. Just want to click open, you don't need to click run as admin, click run. Let's check that it's currently running. Oh yeah, I have it running. Let's just close this. Make sure you accept the agreement. And yes, Microsoft Visual Studio Code does track a lot of your activity using cookies. Again, you don't have to install Visual Studio Code, you can use Atom or anything else. Sublime. Um, Notepad++, but yeah. Next, make sure you click at make sure add to path is checkmarked, and then you can everything else is optional. Click next, and then you can click install, and it'll install it on your machine. Or since I already have it installed, I'm not going to click install. Anyway, now that you have Microsoft Visual Studio Code downloaded, you can open it up, or you can go to your terminal and just type in code. This is a shortcut way of opening my opening up Microsoft Visual Studio Code and let me just make this a little bit bigger alright since you guys probably are opening this your first time you will probably be shown a welcome screen 
though in my case it is giving me an untitled I can just click that out first things first you will need a terminal you just hover your mouse down here and then just uh, drag in the terminal and debug console on the left here you have an explorer and you can choose from here you can choose to open a folder I'm gonna be choosing the introduction folder this is where I will be saving all my uh, Python tutorials you have the option to search all of Visual Studio code as well as any of the scripts that you have for anything such as a certain word or item source control this is for git related actions um, I may go over this later on but for now I'll leave it be run and debug um, just press F5 to run your code or to debug it ah, to debug it and then extensions by default I have Python installed you got well not by default I installed this manually you guys will have to do this I'm just type in Python and make sure you click the first one and make sure you click install it's just um, extra extensions and uh, some dependencies and source code that will help Python your Python code run better and then from the bottom here and just make sure you choose Python 3.8.1 we'll be working with this one and yeah um, and just to see if this works let's start off with a simple hello world script let's go to uh, under introductions this is where our folder is that we selected type in uh, click on new file and let's call this test.py make sure you have .py in there that's how you say that's how you create Python files and just for a simple test print hello world exclamation park and we can save this and then we can run it from this uh, run sign or run check mark over here and then here in our terminal our code was executed as you can see it says hello world and there we go we have our ID installed Linter Pi Lint is not installed just click install on that we may need it later and yes this terminal is just like our uh, command line over here it has all the same functionality should upgrade pip oh and yeah this might help you guys as well python dash m pip install just these enough will be enough to install pip on your machine pip is to install python extensions or other python modules that are not native to your machine that help you run python commands and not python commands um help you build your python code and this one here is to upgrade it this is I already have pip installed on my machine grade pip and it should be upgraded all right and just click clear so yeah we have our ID installed and I think that will do it for today um, in the next video I will go over some basics of some basic terminology in Python as well as some, some of the basics of variables um, we'll start with Python we'll start with the official Python tutorial next week I mean next video not next week anyways have fun guys see you in the next one